There's some pretty big changes coming to the Chinese made version of the battery pack in the Tesla Model Y and the European made version. Now the European made version has already been changed, but it seems as though it's likely that the Chinese made version will get an all new battery pack using higher manganese. But first, what is the differences to the European version? Reports out of Europe say that there's some big differences between CATL's lithium ion phosphate battery in the Tesla Model Y and the new BYD blade battery. Differences in charging and even actually differences to the car that Tesla haven't mentioned. In fact, those differences are so significant that apparently Tesla has been banned from selling the BYD new version of the car until they get it uh, officially okayed or officially registered for sale in Europe because it's so different to the previous model. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm the Electric Viking. Great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. My name's Sam Evans. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Great to have you all. Welcome back, everyone else. Thank you to our Patreon supporters. Phenomenal to have you supporting the channel. Really, really appreciate what you do. And also YouTube members as well. Now, I've got a new video up for YouTube members, by the way, on the uh, member page. Just talking about some of the interesting new changes going on with Tesla. But anyhow, the BYD blade battery now comes in the Tesla Model Y as standard. It's the standard version of the car, the Model Y that gets the BYD blade battery. And now, instead of getting CATL's lithium ion phosphate battery in the standard version of the Model Y, you get the blade battery. The battery chemistry is the same. They both use lithium ion phosphate cells. Battery energy density is pretty close. Therefore, the range is basically the same. Now, I think the energy density of the BYD blade battery is slightly higher than the CATL energy density, but because the blade battery is slightly smaller, it means the range is almost identical. But what this means is, I believe, Tesla are able to make the Model Y for less money. Because the battery pack is slightly smaller, Tesla, I believe, are paying less money for that battery pack. Plus, it's actually a structural battery pack. So that's one of the problems apparently with getting the car registered. Apparently there's been issues now with the regulatory body, bodies in Europe saying, oh, hang on a minute, this Model Y is different to the previous Model Y, not just the battery pack, but actually the structure of the car is different. You need to fill out all these forms and Tesla hadn't done that. So it's been put on hold. Basically, Tesla Model Y deliveries have been put on hold. So if you see a pause, a slowdown in Tesla Model Y sales in Europe over the next month or two, that's the reason. I don't think a lot of people realize this. In fact, it hasn't really been reported by the mainstream media at all, but it is on the forums. So trust me, it must be true. Now, I can't 100% verify the audacity of these reports, but it does appear to be correct. I can verify, though, that there is a difference in batteries. We now know the BYD Blade battery is coming in the Model Y standard variants. Now, is this does this mean the car is better? Well, it does sound like it now has a structural battery pack, meaning, yeah, it is better. It'll be lighter, structurally more rigid. In general, it's a better car because it's the same price and you're basically getting a better product. You're also getting better charging. Seriously, the new Blade battery does charge at a faster speed. In terms of the overall charging from 0% to 100% on a fast charger, DC fast charging, it's actually identical. But most people are not going to charge from 0 to 100%. From 0 to 50%, it's way faster. Significantly faster charging rates. Once you get to 50%, the charging rate of the blade battery starts to slow down until at about the point of 85, around about 85%, the charging rates hit each other. So when they hit both, when both batteries charge about 85%, they charge at the same speed. By the time they get to 90, 90, 95%. So between the 85% mark and the 100% mark, they're both charging at the same rate. But because the blade battery charges quite a bit quicker between the 20% charge rate to the 85% charge rate, that actually means that the overall charging speed to completely charge the battery is going to take a, quite a lot less time. What this means is the Model Y is significantly improved in Europe. It's a pretty big change. 
This is the kind of change that, I mean, you'd hear other manufacturers just going on and on about. Wow, new battery packs are amazing. Tesla just said nothing. I mean, I think Tesla should mention this fact, but maybe they don't want to offend CATL because CATL, I mean, they've been replaced here. And I think Tesla have something up their sleeve here with CATL. Something's about to happen here with CATL. So Tesla, I don't think want to say, I don't want to, I think they don't want to offend CATL. But the truth is the blade battery charging speed here is a lot better. Now, what about the actual charging life? Well, the blade the blade battery being up to sustain faster charging than CATL's battery does make you question how long the battery will last for. But BYD say that the blade battery tops 1.2 million kilometers after 3,000 cycles of charging. And BYD say that in their EVs using the same battery pack, the battery will charge from 30% to 80% in 30 minutes. But that's with a DC power output of 110 kilowatt. However, between the phase of, of around about 20% charge to 50% charge, the same battery pack charges at 175 kilowatt. So significantly faster than what it charges in BYD's Tang or other EVs that this battery pack is in. That means the battery should actually charge in around about 25 minutes in the Model Y now. Much, much better charging than previously. And this is something that is definitely worth considering. If you're going to do road trips, for example, if you're saving an extra, say, 10 minutes per charge, that's a pretty big difference. 25 minutes versus 35 minutes is the difference here between the CATL pack and the new BYD pack, I would estimate around about 10 minutes in charge. However, there are there is some talk of a new battery pack from CATL. I've reported on that in the past. Apparently, the Model Y is first in line for CATL's superior M3P battery, which will have longer range. Now, Maybe Tesla will put in a pack enabling the car to have much longer range, or maybe they'll just make the pack smaller. But either way, if the pack's smaller, then the car will be lighter. So that would be a big improvement as well. So apparently Tesla have actually placed an order for these new M3P batteries. And these are not your regular lithium ion phosphate batteries. They have a improved chemistry versus CATL's current lithium ion phosphate batteries. So what's the difference? Well, basically, it is a lithium ion phosphate battery, but it has extra manganese. And adding the extra manganese means that people are calling them LMFP batteries. CATL says this technology means it's a different technology, it's proprietary, and it will give the battery packs significantly higher energy density. Now, there's another company called GAC, and they have the Aon brand. Basically, the Aon electric car brand is one of the, it's in fact the fastest growing electric car brand in China right now. Their sales have been ballistic this year. However, they have a 620 mile range electric SUV called the Aon LX Plus. And they say that car will be using manganese based lithium iron phosphate technology. They call this technology the SMLF P battery. Now we don't know when Tesla vehicles will have these new LMFP batteries, but I think it will be within 12 months. I think probably the new Model Y, the updated version, the Juniper version, will have this new LMFP battery chemistry, and that will definitely come out in the Chinese cars. So if you're in a country that's going to be getting the Chinese version of the cars, which is actually now Canada, Europe, of course, many places around the world, Australia, then, well, you could be getting a brand new pack from CATL using LMFP battery chemistry, which will probably increase energy density by around about 15 to 20%. That's a pretty big difference. Pretty exciting here, I think. The new Juniper version of the Model Y could be absolutely mind-blowing based on all the reports that I've been reading recently. Let me know your thoughts in the comments, and thank you for watching. Bye-bye.